DJ representing Teen Lloyd and kids with his patch. They have a, a good uh, program in Maryland. Making a bunch of winners in there. Oh, got to watch out with the choke, DJ. Key to win is not to let DJ get anywhere close to your hips. That's what he's going to do. He's going to secure your hips. He's going to get heavy uh, pressure on the on the half guard. I know he's working on a couple of leg locks in there. And from there, he's just going to pressure you into Kimura's and wrist locks. Tommy went for a very nice arm bar, but that's what DJ wants. He wants you to move, so you make mistake. That's what I'm talking about. Tommy has to bring the right leg in, but if he does that, he allows DJ to long step over. Nice knee slide pass by DJ. I think Tommy should work a little bit more on those loop chokes. If not for the for the submission, but just to keep DJ away from him. The old DJ that we saw Copa Pojo would be happy with that one advantage. Not this one. He wants more. the opportunity for the under over that's what Tommy wants with that uh, cross scrape on the collar if it passes that guard it's going to be by pure determination because Throwing legs in there, I don't think it's going to work against Tommy. DJ has such a very uh, strong base. Tommy has to score at least an advantage in there to force DJ to make mistakes. Not if he's making mistakes of his own. Not an advantage. DJ is up to advantage. Nothing. A minute. 20 seconds left.
So that the two on the scoreboard, there's two advantages. That's the half guard game he wants to play. Wrist locks, Kimuros. He makes you worry about all of the submissions that you can possibly get caught in. And then he slides the legs in, gets a three, gets a four, and then comes right back in. I may or may not be explaining how he beat me last time we fought in 2007, 8 as a purple belt. But that's what he does. DJ scoring two points in the overall group. Moving on to the next one. And to confirm what was the expectancy of Fabio Medeiros, G.J. Jackson got it. 